everybody. Today I'm going to review the Diablo Carbide Tip Reciprocating Saw Blades. They come in a variety of lengths as well as a couple different styles. Now the one that I have installed in this reciprocating saw is a 12 inch long nail embedded wood version. So if you're remodeling a house, maybe you're replacing a roof or ripping off a deck, this is going to be able to get the job done for you. It's not going to slow down and it's going to last a lot longer than a standard reciprocating saw blade. Now they claim up to 20 times the life. So where you would go through 20 blades, you're going to go through one of these. Now it does cost a little bit more, but as far as performance, it is a lot better than a standard blade. And when you use one, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. Now other than the nail embedded wood version, they also have a metal cutting version. And that's not just cutting through softer metals or even steel, that's cutting through cast iron, stainless steel, as well as high strength alloys. So what I want to do in this video is really give you some closer up looks at these. We're going to see how they compare to standard reciprocating saw blades, and we're going to see how they actually perform. Here's a closer look at the carbide tip blades compared to some standard bimetal blades. Now overall, the length and footprint of them are going to be the same, with these two being designed for nail embedded wood, and these two designed for metal. But what you do want to keep in mind, unlike a standard bimetal blade that's going to have just metal teeth that are going to wear out very quickly, the carbide tip teeth are going to last a lot longer. And Diablo claims that you can actually get about a 20 to 1 ratio. So for every 20 standard blades that you wear completely out, you're only going to go through one carbide tip blade. Installing the blades is extremely easy to do, especially if your reciprocating saw has a quick release collar like this one. Now in this case, all we need to do is grab onto the collar, rotate it until it stops, take our blade, slide it in the slot, and then release. And then in just a matter of seconds, we'd be ready to go. Now one thing that I've read about online as far as these particular blades go that's actually untrue is the fact that they are reversible. Many people think they are not, and what I mean by that, let's say you have something above your head and you cannot turn the tool upside down in order to cut it. What you can actually do is turn the blade upside down. So you can take the quick release collar, go ahead, just pop the blade right out. You can just turn it 180 degrees, slide it back in, and now it would be upside down. So this just goes to prove it is fully reversible. There's no special tang on the end that prevents you from doing that. And if something's above your head, you can easily spin the blade around and still cut it. Here's an extreme close-up of the nail embedded wood blade with its variable tooth design. Now specifically the reason that the teeth are staggered left to right is to greatly reduce vibrations as you cut, as well as greatly increase your cut speed. When compared to a competitor's general purpose wood cutting blade, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. The teeth on this do not have an aggressive design, and they would not be nearly as effective at cutting through materials. To test the nail embedded wood blade, what I've done is place a 2x6 in the vise, and I'll be nailing this entire tray of framing nails into the top of it. Then using the rigid Gen 5X reciprocating saw, we're going to cut from one side to the other. So there you go, I was able to cleanly slice through all those nails, and when we take a closer look at the blade, no teeth are missing, none are even chipped, and the only way we can tell it's been used is the fact that some of the paint has rubbed off. The tip on the front of the blade is specifically designed for plunge cuts. I've put a very thick piece of plywood here on the workbench. We're going to punch a hole through the center of it, and then cut the entire end off.
Now I'm going to use the Milwaukee M18 fuel Sawzall to slice through this 4 inch pipe. Now to see how the carbide blades can actually cut through some thick steel, what I'm going to do is cut off the end of this I-beam. Now it is a quarter inch thick on the top, a quarter inch thick in the center, and then the portion right here where the top meets the center, it's actually thicker. What we're going to do is try to make a clean cut roughly about six inches back the whole way down. So there you go, I was able to cleanly slice off that I-beam and taking a closer look at the blade, really the only way you can tell it's even been used is some of the paints worn off of it. But as far as the construction of it goes, it doesn't look like it has any damage, none of the teeth are broken off, and it's still in great shape. So now you've seen Diablo's carbide tip reciprocating saw blades for yourself. They're going to work with cordless reciprocating saws like this M18 Fuel Sawzall, the corded versions, and even the small hacksaw varieties. Because all of them are going to take the exact same end, they're going to plug right in, and you can cut through pretty much anything. So whether that's nail embedded wood, through thin steel, or even that very thick steel like the I-beam behind me, we slice right through it and there was no damage to the blade at all. Now I do want to point out how you're going to wear these out very quickly is if it's not tight against what you're cutting through and it's really vibrating back and forth. That's going to ruin any reciprocating saw blade very quickly and it's going to break the teeth right off. But as long as everything's secure, they should last you for a very long time. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.